Hey everybody! Welcome to another episode of Who's an Anime? With your host Stephen Colin. We're talking about Gantz. And it's Gantastic Go! It is uh, Gantztastic. I guess, like, I'll just say it up front. Hey, uh, content warning. The show is violent. Uh, it, it, it not just in terms of violence, it is like weirdly sexualized, uh, and has some pretty, uh, uh, I say, dated and maybe problematic, uh, <laughs> portrayals of of contact with women and teenage boys and things like that. So just if that's not your vibe, um, you know, there's other stuff we've done that may, might be more your speed, like school days. Like I did no 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 oh. like I feel I feel like in hindsight now you know maybe maybe that warning would have been welcome at the front of school days as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Good old school maybe, days. Maybe, maybe maybe missed that one. Uh, go and uh, oh. go go and watch like Trigun. Trigun Stampede was good. Here, here, right? You said outdated. Uh huh. I mean, that's a, that's, this is stuff from potentially the 30s, outdated. Oh, I, I mean, this is like, I, so obviously, like, there are some significant cultural differences, shall we say, uh, <laughs> when it comes to the portrayal of young women in content. Uh, and this is that, uh, plus the, 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 the difference of 20 years. Of social progress, um, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, but see, it was already fairly dated at the time it came out, and it feels feels even more so now. Yeah. All right, here, here we go, here we go. Okay. Come uh, on, you want to start us off? Yeah. Uh, well, 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 yeah. We're. I, I'll tell us the episodes we're talking about, and then I'll let you start. We're going to talk about episodes five and six today. Uh, yeah. And we're going to start with episode five. Then that means at that time, dot, dot, dot. Yeah. So let's summarize it. Yeah. Dude passes on debt to dude. Yep. Girl finds out that she's a clone. Yep. Um, that's basically it. That's, that's, that that's, is it. The that's the episode. Oh, uh, uh, man, man collects teeth. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, that's a debt collector. <laughs> yeah, man, man, man collects teeth. He does that, right? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Child collects teeth. Yeah, because uh, he is an eleventh grader. Yeah, in, in Japan, what is which that? would make him sixteen or seventeen. All right, and uh, tenth grader is what? Fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, yeah, like, like a year younger. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, I feel, I feel, um, um, you know, if your child is collecting the f- face bones of his enemies, uh huh, that's a problem. I mean, what did he ever tell you? He's collecting the face bones of his enemies, especially since it's a dentist, son. Oh, wait, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So let let's actually okay. let's go through this episode. Start of the episode. He seems. So- I mean, I I have to say though that the episode title is now collecting the face bones of his enemies. <laughs> I mean, yeah. There's, yeah. I suppose it's better than the other one that could be used like, oh, I'm your pet now. <laughs> but no, we're not. Episode. We're not. We have uh, died. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Actually, That's there's a much sense. worse title than that. Uh, uh, that also has to do with that sentence. Anyway, dentist's son. Oh, is it a dog? But anyway, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's next episode, and that, that's yeah. uh, that's it to get there. That's the fun part. So, um, here we go. Episode five starts off with the two getting beaten up. And yes. K is uh, watching um, the guy get beat up and going. As so, with everything he does, how, he is a how did I get passive here? observer. Yeah, he's like, 
I thought my life was getting back to normal. I don't hear what the hell. Uh, this, this is the basically uh, only missing a record scratch. You're probably wondering. This is me. You're probably wondering how I got here. Well, I'm going to tell you, and, and we're going to tell you, uh, and it's kind of semi-interesting, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sort of. <laughs> Anyway, so this is a bit where, like, uh, there's kind of a gang, and this guy's beating them up, and then there's a blonde dude, long dude with long hair, saying, Yeah. Oh, uh, there you go. That's, what's his name? Son of a dentist. As he goes, Oh, your tooth is loose. Yoink. <laughs> it's like, All right. <laughs> he does then at some point say, Also, this one also seems loose. <laughs> yeah. And how many you got now? Oh, nearly 100. It's not quite a hundred. Not quite a hundred. Yeah, but it's but it's pretty good. I'd say he has a good fifteen to twenty teeth in his little glasses case. Yeah, he definitely has a lot. Anyway, it's like Dolph Lundgren and his necklace of ears. What was that from again? Uh, Universal Soldier. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was it. Yeah, <laughs> like at one point picks up one of the ears and starts going hello, hello. It's, it's yeah, God, that movie's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a Van Damme movie. Oh God, so so good. Anyway, it was it was all right when I watched it. I don't know. I just, yeah, maybe I just don't really like Van Damme. Oh, I don't know why. Anyway, cut flashback time. Yep, back to the room and the yep. dude uh, changing his story about what he knows somehow because. It's that yeah, he does say something different. So the guy basically, Nishi is it? Yeah, Nishi. Uh, basically, he said, "Oh yeah, I don't really know much." Blah blah blah. We're clones. Uh, so then he extradites that by. Oh, there's one time there was this guy found out that his real self is still alive. So God's not perfect, you know. And then he walks away, <laughs> and then he threatens <laughs> to kill him, but walks yeah. away. <laughs> <laughs> he then threatens to kill them, opens the door and goes, Ah, I'm only kidding. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. And then the three of them exit, uh, K, the girl, and Koto. Yeah. Uh, all leave, go, oh, we can leave. And then they said, and then Koto basically says to K, go, uh, yo, give her your clothes. It's like, all right, okay. Uh, and then they went to a taxi, and the taxi didn't stop at first, but then and they thought they couldn't be seen still, but the taxi stopped, and they get the taxi. Yep. Uh, the girl leaves, and then tells them the name that she's also called Kei. Yeah, or uh, Kishimoto. Yeah. Uh, but he, uh, Kei, good Kei. Going yep. Go around calling Kuruno. Good Kei. Uh, he basically... Is jealous that Koto's like asked her for her name and she tells her the name. He's like, and yeah. he goes, "Why are you blushing?" Type thing. I like, "What the fuck's going on there?" And then he's like, "Wait, hang on. She's uh, she's got the same name as me." And the drove as they drive away. Uh, and then I don't know. Does it cut to her waking up on the park bench? I, yeah, and then getting harassed by some dude, but then he's like, hey, you're going to catch a cold if you don't wear, like, a coat. Yeah. <laughs> but that's after she, uh, that's like, she wakes up on the bench and then flashbacks to the, the night before where she turns up and the bath is full of blood. Or she oh, gets, yeah, yeah. gets changed. And the phone rings. Oh, the phone call from her, her mum? Her mother, but she's looking for yeah. the little sister. Yes. Your big sister has, quote, Fallen in the bathtub. Yes. She's alive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Anyway, so she's alive and is like, oh shit. And then the mom was like, hey, who's this? And she's like, yeah. Smash. Because nope. uh, female K basically has weird flashback of Nishi standing behind her in the house going, uh, you're it's a clone. Like a- you're yeah. a clone. You're a clone. You're, You're a clone. clone. You're a clone. <laughs> Type thing. Yeah. Uh, and then she freaks out. You're, you're, you came from a fax machine. That's what happened. Yeah. A fax machine. Anyway. 
So she wakes up in bed and homeless guy basically says, Are you going to catch cold? Are you sleep here? Yeah. Uh, and then she walks. Not before blushing and looking up her skirt because, you know. That's probably what's, that, what's that's happened. the way this show goes. I don't think he did it. That wasn't shown here. Maybe not intentionally. I mean. She's wearing a short skirt lying down on a bench. I, I get it. <laughs> I don't know. I I, that's, that's the panty shop for the anime, man. Oh, uh, so much fan service. 100%. Fans errors. Plus fact that I didn't really notice that. Thanks for pointing it out. <laughs> I mean, this, right. I thought this episode wasn't terrible for that. Uh, it's not. I don't know. Like, there's the 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 breast montage in a little while. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. To <laughs> I suppressed all of this. This is <laughs> the summary should have been: guy gets hard on, and breaks person's face. <laughs> Man gets erection, finds sudden inner strength. Yeah. Um, uh, and then I think it cuts... So yeah, it's going all over the fucking place this episode. Yeah, it cuts to Koto, who's back at the house, and the news bulletin's going about the the two kids getting killed in the subway. Yeah. But, well, they've been killed because but they can't find the bodies, so it's a big mystery. All they have is this umbrella and a porno mag. Yeah. So... Yeah, uh, and... Aye, aye. So I think it cuts back to Koto, who's in the house uh, with his brother, and the brother's watching the news thing. He goes, hey, that's my brolly. What happened yesterday? And he's like, uh, I got I got some money. We can go and get some steak. Because uh, they're living with his aunt, who doesn't really like them. Yeah. We should also say that by brolly, you mean umbrella. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Brolly. <laughs> brolly. <laughs> Such a common term. I don't know. Rihanna never sang You Can Stand Under My Brawly. Oh, I mean... It's more like Goku's dad. Is Goku's dad... No, Bardock? Who was Brawly? Brawly was the... The super strong scene that got banished from the planet because... Uh, Vegeta, King Vegeta couldn't live with the fact that his son was weaker than, there you go. than Brawly. I believe. Bro. Bro- Broly is also a Super Saiyan. Who, who's a bit savage and turns up. Uh, he had green hair, though. I think, I think he, had, he did. I think there was like an evil one of him. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Oh, his his is only one L, though. Oh, the evil Broly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh... Can't have two L's, man. I mean... Legend... How is he called Brawly anyway? Oh, that's just what what's he called in Japan? Burori. 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 So it have L's in it? No, two R's. Yeah, because So yeah, L L's not a not a common letter in that way. I don't yeah. well, not pronunciation like that, I guess. I but... don't I don't think they have a yeah, the pronunciation of it. I think it's bu bu ro ri bu ro ri bu ro ri. So yeah. we, we translate it to brawly. Yes. A hey. I guess if you say it like fast enough, bu ro ri, it sounds like bu brawly bu ro <laughs> That's fair. Uh... Oh wait. Broccoli? Broccoli. I just looking at aliases and it's like Burori, Broly, that legendary Saiyan, and Broccoli. Uh that's because Master Roshi calls him broccoli. <laughs> of course he does. <clears throat> yeah. Good old Master anyway, Roshi. that's for our other show. Yeah. <laughs> and then far in the future. Yeah, oh god, so far in the future. I need to talk to you about that actually. Anyway, um Oh god. Yeah, I just sorry, I just thought of some things that I'm not sure you factored in. Uh, like, oh I haven't factored in anything. No, I know you haven't. I mean like nope. originally you factored in what it was like two episodes of of, of that a, yeah. a week? I mean we'd be we'd be we'd be long dead by the time that came out. <laughs> I mean we're getting up to a hundred now. Anyway, um Yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. We are. So, 
he finds probably any thoughts about that and he's yep. kind of like cool because uh, he was warned never to talk about what's happened oh because his head will blow up yeah or yeah something will happen yep that's no that's what that's what Nishi said he's like don't say anything or your head will explode yeah uh, you know all these extra bits of information that he's decided to give as part of that conversation we already heard yeah <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how much that's going to appear. Oh, he said this again. He said this again. <laughs> it's pretty good because you're just like I don't remember any of that because I was like thinking back. It was like he didn't. Did, I don't think he threatened to kill them last time. I don't think he said that. Did he say that? And it's like no. This is not a flashback. This is new content. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh... oh, he kind of just laughed evilly as he locked out the door last time. Oh yeah. Time. Didn't do it this time. He just threatened to kill him and then just walked out the door. Said, see you later. Yeah. <laughs> that was not how that ended last time. Anyway. No. High to jest. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, then I think it goes back to do K. K dude. Yep. Um, yep. Uh, he's in school talking about dirty magazines. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, with his two friends, and then they're somewhere in the grounds of the school. When the dude goes, "Uh, I'm in a bit of a bind, dude. I owe money to this guy, or he keeps hitting me up for money, and I don't have the money to give him." Uh, yeah. And then the guy appears, who's the blonde guy from the start, and goes, "Yo, dude, you owe his money." Uh, and. Duke is like saying, Oh man, you got yourself in some shit here, dude. And basically then dude just says, Oh well you can pass it on to your mate here. Just yeah. tag him in. <laughs> yeah, he's like, Oh, sorry. Tag. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, What? <laughs> and also you know us double. Yeah. <laughs> well I It was. It was it went from fifty thousand to a hundred thousand. To 200,000 yen, I think, eventually. Like, it just kept climbing. Every time he was like, oh, you owe us this much money. I was like, this is getting obscene. <laughs> he is all, he is all his money, man, forever and day until we... Sorry, you're not all in his money. Crazy. Uh, and he was like, oh, we'll better get back to class. Oh, that's cool. I'll see you after school. And then he's in the toilet, and it's like, yo, you all right? You having a shit? And he's like, no, I've got a stomachache. But yep. he's putting on the suit. He's p- putting on the power suit. Power suit. Um, or his uh, cosplay uniform. Yeah, as he keeps referring it to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, so he um, does that. I think it cuts back to female K sitting in the subway on a chair. Mm-hmm. And then it cuts back to Duke K uh, K uh, in in with the the gang standing there and then doing nothing while this other well things are happening as usual yeah well the dude comes in and goes hey i'll be here you've been uh hustling my um my oh, subordinates yeah. in the karate club how dare you do that and he's like huh uh and then he gets beaten up and that's the person that lost his teeth yeah, uh, he says something like, "All uh, the one that isn't a clown, you should get out of here, or, or something like that. Um, uh, punk, yeah. Yeah, the one that isn't a punk should get out of here. Yeah. But he doesn't. And he watches no, him get beat up. Again, uh, a casual observer to violence. Mm-hmm. Yep. I like the fact that he... Uh, only is willing to engage with the situation once they come to him about it. Uh huh. That's pretty much his character at the moment. Yep, that absolute fucking scumbag. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, he basically goes, "Oh, you owe us like a hundred thousand yen now." Uh huh. And he's like, "I ain't paying that." And he's like, "Oh, what did you say, punk?" Yeah. And then he's getting his ass beaten to him because he didn't have the power suit on yet. But there's a twist in the tale because while he's getting the shit kicked out of him, he's going through a breast montage in his head 
And he's like, hey, why am I thinking about this right now? And then they're all thinking, it's like, what's wrong with this guy? This guy has an erection and I'm kicking the shit out of him. He's like, this is not what this is about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's gosh. like, I'm beating you up. This is not what should be happening. <laughs> no. No. He's pretty angry about it. Yeah. I think he's just apparently angry about it. <laughs> Oh, just generally, but that yeah. that's kind of like a whoa, what? Yeah, why? <laughs> uh, so then he gets the direction, and you see it kind of suit all tensing up on him. Uh huh. For two reasons. Oh the yeah, direction, and uh, it's actually performing what it's meant to be doing. So hey, I think it's working, and he grabs the guy's yep. arm, and he kind of squeezes think- it. Yep, thinks about breaking it. Yeah, it's, and I think you asked the guy, and the guy goes, "Nah," and he's like, "All right, I'll let you go." And then they're like, "Oh, you shouldn't have done that," and he's going for another, uh, going for a left hand swing, at him, and he just kind of like lightning fast knocks him down with a, a right. I was gonna say I didn't even know what he actually did. I just saw the guy <laughs> flying back with teeth going everywhere. <laughs> I think I think it was like a type hit. Yeah. You know, like we've been watching Dragon Ball, and it's like, oh, oh yeah. he's hit him once, and it's like, no, he's hit him like five times. <laughs> he hit him a lot. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyway, I'm just waiting until till Z when the speed things up even more. <laughs> oh, it's gonna get nuts. Uh, yeah. Um. Anyway, so he's on the ground, and then he's like, basically repeats the words to the dude. The one who's not a punk can get out of here. Yeah. And then walks away. He gets some confidence as well once he gets the suit yeah. on. Yeah, and he's, his ha- his hands are in his pocket as he's walking away and he's shaking Yeah, from the adrenaline. Yep. Uh, and then he goes home and finds female key at his door. Sleeping. Yeah. That's the kind of the end of the episode. We did miss out like the stuff about Kato. Uh... Or Kato. And his... Uh... Him living with his younger brother and like his his un we talked about the umbrella bit. We didn't talk about like the aunt being a total bitch. Oh yeah, oh. He basically lives in an abusive household. Um, is, is what it is. I think that's next episode. I thought that's place. No, you, next you, episode. you hear her talk of this one. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, but you don't know. It's basically she's like going out for steak with her two daughters. And basically, yeah, and she I, I should hit. Doesn't hit anyone. Ab- I, no, I, abusiveness does not mean just fisticuffs. She is like berating these two children that live with her and telling them how they're not good enough, and it's all her, her blood, her sister's fault for running away and having two kids and not considering her and leaving them to her. Yeah, I suppose she does do it in this one. That one. I know, she's I was... she's a mon. She's kind of a monster. Yeah, she's. She was like, oh, they had to get married and have two kids yep. and then they died and... Here I am now. And i got to look after you this. you guys. Ah, what's the world coming to type? Right. Yep. Uh, Make sure that this place is, you know, kept clean and sorted out by the time I get back. Yeah. This is a, a ugly, ugly sister's vibes from Cinderella. Well, I don't think the daughters are that have that ma- malice against them. Oh no, I'm just meaning like the circumstances. It's like, hey, I'm taking these two out because I like them. You yeah. deal with this shit. <laughs> yeah, well, there was, was um, because the daughter's like, what, are you not taking these guys? And they're like, no. No. What? Why, why would I? Why would I? <laughs> so yeah. they're just eating ramen. Uh, well, wh- how, how, how did you like that one? Uh,. <laughs> That was an episode. It, it it was. I mean, the fights taking the fight scene was kind of nice, short and sweet. Yeah. Uh, short. <laughs> I kind of like the very way, short. I like the way you take him down. Yeah, it was cool. Like, um, well, the rest of it is just this was just a healthy mess, man. I mean, yeah, it's. <laughs> I mean, at least I find I found Lane an unhappy joy- joyfulness. It, there's, there's. Uh, I think the problem is, is that for me, that well, the thing about oh, Gans that I really love 
is the I think there's a really interesting story underlying it and underpinning everything. I think that's a really truly unique and, and interesting thing. Um I do think that uh there's a lot of content that gets in the way of me enjoying the the, myst- the mystery sometimes. Uh, um yeah, I feel so- some of it's just I didn't just just for the hell of it. It's not What's well, like on the the manga there's like big adult content supervisory things on them. Oh, and you got the wee lines for the censors. Uh no. No, no lines for censoring. No. No. To be fair, the the Junji Ito one you gave me uh also has no censoring in it, so. Oh. All right. That's fair enough. Um uh, anyway, give it a yeah, rating. I- yeah, I give it a rating. Go for it. Give it a number between one and ten. Do 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 do. Uh, six. I I think that's generous. Uh, <laughs> I think I think it's like a a a a four, maybe a five. It's it's not well, great. I was like, I was hovering to a five. Yeah, I could I could probably go up to a five. It, it's just, it's not the parts about Gantz that I like. Not what it's not what it's focusing on right now. I think the Gantz is at its best when it's involved in those alien missions and and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, this is like there's a there's a kind of a shock value thing here, and I appreciate that that there's maybe maybe some artistry to it. To me, it just feels a little bit deliberate. Mm-hmm. As opposed to like, ne- it doesn't feel necessary. Yeah, to convey certain things. Yeah, you can convey these things in a different way. The cool bit isn't too bad in the sense it's just like he's an abusive family. No, like that, I mean that's, that, that that's that's, that's told that's like well done storytelling, and I'm not I'm not even suggesting like we we dial back like K being like a total dick, or or like the fact that he's a just a total horn dog all the time. Like that's fine. Like that can be, that can be the way he operates. But it's just it's there's weird flourishes to this in a, in a consistent basis that are just kind of unusual. Yeah, a lot to do with the first person camera that it always goes to when it's Kay's turn to look at her. Yep, that's and it right. Starts down at the crotch and works its way up. Every time. Yep. Where are you? Where are, you at? Where are your eyes looking at? Anyway, uh, so aye. That's that was the end of that episode. On to episode six. Alright. Alright. So here's yep. the here's the here's the episode. This is the episode. Uh do you wanna do you wanna sum it up then? Let's sum it up. I don't actually think there's that much to talk about in this one, quite frankly. There's not. <laughs> <laughs> so uh the summary is um because female K has essentially no home, she yep. kind of entices male K by saying, "Yo, I uh, you can I'll be your pet if you let me stay here." Yeah. Where male K is like, "Wait, what?" He's like, "Oh, of course." Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like I get fun she's times. Like, I hope that's not. Yeah, it's like I, I hope that's not weird. And he's like, yeah, but no, 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 no. It's 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 fine. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. normal. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm going to get laid. Happy days, and then oh. yeah, such a douche. And then, <laughs> so it seems like you might have mind up at the end of this episode of it. Ah, uh, he seems. I mean, like he's he's like <laughs> keen to his senses and not just let his beetle. The beetle uh, guide him everywhere. I I feel like what you're saying is is like he got like less horny because she started being emotional and he decided not to sexually assault her because of that. Oh, I mean decided. That's... He's already did it. Oh, I mean like more. Take it beyond that. Yeah, more. Like it's already <laughs> like. Pre- I mean, yeah. yeah. Oh fucking hell! It's, this thing. It's uh, episode. So. Uh... I think the start of this episode is basically go, oh hey, what are you doing here? And then she's like, I wake up 
And she woke up and I was like, yeah, I'm here. Because I got your clothes, so I had this in had, the clothes. Had the thing. Like a passport or something, a passbook a of sorts. Identification or something, yeah. Yeah. So I thought I'd return it. And then she walks away and gets down the stairs, because he's on a first floor apartment. Yeah. And then she turns around and goes, can I get a glass of water? He's like, yeah, sure. So they go in, has a glass of water. She's kind of... It's a green tea she gets. She gets a bottle of green tea. Yeah. She got green tea and she said... And then she's kind of looking around the room at all his nude pictures on the wall. Uh, and then saying, uh, and then he's like, so what, what's happening? And he, she didn't really say anything. Uh, uh, watching TV and laughing. Uh, yeah, a, a lot. Yeah. Avoiding reality by laughing at television. Yeah. And then, um, then, uh, she's hungry. She's, her stomach rumbles, yeah. And he goes, Oh, you hungry? Yeah. It's like, Yeah, I am. And he, so he offers him his food. And he goes, Oh, is this your your food? And he goes, Yeah, that was my food. It's it's fine. It's There's fine, a, though. Like a shop close by. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Well, see you later. As she walks out, <laughs> she go, comes back a third time. Goes down the stairs, comes back a third time. Knocks on the door and he's like, yo, what's up? And she says, uh, does your apartment allow cats and dogs? And goes, yeah, people have them. Cool. Uh, would you like to keep one? Yeah. Uh, and he's like looking at the ground like, like um, what? 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 You, what do you mean? And then she kind of points to herself with puppy eyes and it's like, oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> and then would you like to keep me as a pet? And he's like, what are you saying? Yeah. I mean, he's, he's into it immediately because his, like one of his first mental images is putting a collar on her. No, no, it comes later, much later. Um, I, I, I'm saying like one of his first mental images regarding the pet scenario uh, is that. Uh, yeah. After. So he goes, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. All right. All right. Hence yeah. the title name. Yeah, I don't Yata, un- Yata. I don't understand the other one. <laughs> the other title name, I can't remember. What was that? So uh, it's all right uh, in the night or something. <laughs> it'll be all right in the night. No. The pre- oh, then that means at that time, the previous episode. Yeah. Was yeah. That, was that referring back to that time they died? I think I don't know. Must, maybe must have, <laughs> it must have been something like that. Anyway, um. So, okay, so she kind of comes in, uh, and then, uh, it should be all right, right? And he goes, what? What should be all right? Oh, can I have a shower? Yeah, you can have a shower. We'll have a shower. And I was like, oh, man, classic peeping Tom in the shower. Which he does. Does it? Only to tell her, he's like, hey, I'm, I'm going to the shop. Yeah, he, <laughs> he opens the door, I'm going to the shop, we're going to get, get some stuff for us. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Um... I should also say that this has been interspliced with some other character, some biker oh, dude. There's a biker guy who has a kid. He's throwing the kid up and they're having fun. And then he says to the, the his partner wife. or whatever she is, like wife, mm-hmm. uh, is like, hey, I'm going out to get cigarettes. And she's like, also get milk. Cool. I'll get that. He uses that. Like, It's probably easier to just tell this narrative in a one rather than going back and forward. But effectively this guy is like a member of a biking gang uh he goes out to get milk they're all hanging out and you know doing their thing mm-hmm. uh and then they accost this guy and his kid out in the street well he uh, no, was... oh actually sorry the, the other way around they're like hey you he's like your bikes are too loud yeah you know keep it down yeah yeah uh, and then he does like to, in all fairness like judo tackles one of them to the ground yeah um that tries to knife him uh, but then he gets kicked to the ground uh, and pants and beaten up and get basically made a fool of mm-hmm. only to have the, the kid be have his hair ruffled by that said biker and go, hey, don't be don't grow up to be a douche like your dad. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that biker has kind of been looking at the kid and was like, he was like, ah, oh, shit. He, yeah. He had, a, he had a, a bit of heart conscience there of like, he didn't engage in the 
and in the the violence against the guy. Yeah, he just kind of watched it all happen. Did nothing. Another arsehole passive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, and then at this point, K walks by. Dude, K walks by. Going yeah, to the store. he's like, oh, yeah, what? yeah. Looking, looking at what's happening. He goes, oh gosh, wow. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, let's get going. <laughs> It's How almost you... like that Jeremy Clarkson meme of, anyway. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh no. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, he, he just once again is like, oh well. Yeah. Never mind. Very much. Uh, I'm okay. I'm going to get laid tonight. Yep. Dances all the way to the shop. Yep. And he goes and picks up uh, Shonen Jump yeah. and some condoms. Yeah. And then he's like, the fuck? Why did I do that for? Yep. <laughs> yep. He's a genius. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, he heads back, of course, has a look at the condoms, and is like, oh, so this is what they look like. No. Hi. No. He goes back, and then she's there all dressed up again. He's like, oh, oh why, that's right. why is she still dressed? What? I have no... What happened? I don't understand what, what he was thinking, what was going to happen here. It is quite confusing, like, how the brain is working here. Uh, and I, my only assumption is, is that it's just not. Yeah, no, his brain doesn't work. Anyway, because um, no. he's like that, and then I think he, when she said she was going for a shower, he got a, a boner again, and she saw yes. that as she walked out the door. Yes. Uh, uh, and then <laughs> and he's like, oh, wait, why are you all dressed up? And then it's like there's a distance, and he's trying to like understand why she needs to stay, and she's like ignoring him. Uh... And then it's like time to go to bed. She's like, "Oh, hey, wait! Does he not? Does he not like go? Hey, uh, so how come you're here? Did you like fall out with your family?" And she just goes like, <laughs> "Yeah, yeah watching TV." Like continues watching the television. It's like oh, okay. And then he says, uh, "She's ignoring me." Yep. Uh, which she was. <laughs> and then he yeah. starts thinking, "I could just force myself on on her." And it's like, "Dude, what the fuck?" Don't, don't yeah. That. He's like, "Oh yeah, that's right. There's no extra foot on." Yeah. Lucky, <laughs> yeah. I'll oh, kind of sleep in your bed. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just don't mind that. Like, but if I while I'm getting undressed, can you not watch that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> as if that wasn't a hint towards like you know how how she's feeling about the circumstances. Like, could you not look? Yeah. Very much. I was like, yeah, sure, all right. Uh, anyway, so she gets in the bed, and then he gets in the bed. This fucking conversation. And then they're just just going to go to sleep. But he's like, uh, should not be doing something now? And she's like, what, like what? Like, sex? He's like, sex? And he's like, she's like this is, this is the, this was the alternate episode to the uh, title episode was, you don't have sex with your pets. Yeah. <laughs> she's just like, <laughs> like, what is happening? <laughs> Yeah, but his explanation that he was oh. on the dog that he hugged and kissed. Yeah, he's like, I don't... Yeah, you're right. But yeah, I did have a dog that I hugged and kissed. Is that okay? And she's like, oh, whatever. Mm -hmm. And he uses that as a uh, uh, an excuse to fondle her uh, yeah. inappropriately. Mm -hmm. um, until she, like, kind of just breaks down. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I'm sorry. Uh, I can't do anything like this because... Holy shit! My life is falling apart. Well, her life has fallen apart because she's a clone. Yeah. She's she's a well, or yeah, it, it, that's wild. She has no place in this world. Yeah, I have no place. Like in this that. World. That is a concept. Is insane. It's like you know. It's like oh yeah. Like at the moment you died, you were going to be recreated here. It's like but you didn't die, so you're here, but you don't matter. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. Well. I'm you don't really matter because the whole point in the exercise is to go. It's like Suicide Squad, man. Totally, but I, I, it's it's that thing of like it. It kind of um. It actually emboldens his position of control over her, because she has nothing and no one to go to. She's no possibility of 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 any help outside of that group of people, because she has no life to return to. Uh -huh. And nobody she can talk to outside of the people she's experiencing this thing with about what's happening. I suppose, yeah. She's nowhere to, nowhere to stay, nowhere of anything. 
he has like total control over her in that regard because she doesn't belong like she's not she doesn't belong in this world so he's yeah. like he has her basically she is like very much just his pet in that way so there's like a weird reality to that of like she's like offering that because she needs a place to stay and needs you know needs support mm-hmm. but also it's kind of a it's an affirmation of like his level of just oh like yeah she's she's mine yeah he doesn't take it like that though no he's he's a total douche though see i mean his actions aren't nice but he does stop at that point and goes wait what and then they wake up it, it, the next day. Uh, yeah, I, man, the fuck. <sighs> oh, I, I don't think next day was. No, just like it's the the like it took her having an emotional breakdown. But it's like ah, uh, you're right. Probably like pushing myself on you sexually at this point is not a great idea. <laughs> then maybe it wasn't the best idea to start with. To be fair. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she did. She did kind of explicitly state that was not what this was. Oh, like, uh, uh, I mean, not straight away. She she made it in a weird way of like, uh, you, I'll be your pet type thing. You can keep me. Uh, I mean, you can take what you want from that. It's insane. It's all insane. That's, it's all bad. That's None like a, good. a terrible thing to say. So he's also got his hopes up, thinking, oh, oh he's. Wow, that's that's a bit of a kink. He's oh yeah, and he's, it, uh, he's loving it. But he, you know, it doesn't factor into his head that no, she was just that. She means she was asking just to stay at their, his place as a freeloader. Wow. On the other side of it, we find out about the, the 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 sort of more tastefully handled physical abuse of Kato's younger brother. Yeah, uh, yeah, he was. Like, because Cattle walks in and sees a bruise on his neck. It's like, oh, she's doing it again. And then Cattle, Cattle Brother is like, don't don't say bad things about Auntie. Nope. But can't do that. Can't do that it. ends badly. Yeah. Oh, uh, also, no. that biker ends up uh, hitting his wife as well. I don't think like, he hits his wife. He pushes her down. Does he, not, does he not hit her down? I thought he just pushes I her down. I thought he smacked her to the bed. No, I didn't think so. She certainly no, fell down. Not. Never saw marks on her. To indicate she got. He hit. seems. He also seems maybe a tad abusive. Yeah, a tad. Uh, but he does. Uh, I don't know. He... Bike biker with a heart of gold. I'm sure. <sighs> well, not really, but. He's no, he's certainly not. looking out for his family at that point, essentially, because he he, care, he cares for his child, and he did come. He comes home. He's not a good person, but he's not the worst. Yeah, well, the biker guy came home, and the wife was like, "He goes, oh, you got smokes already. You could have told me. I wouldn't have had to go out for milk." And the yeah. wife's like, "Shut up, mate. <laughs> stop, yeah. stop your <laughs> well, bullshit." <laughs> Yeah, she's like, also, you don't, like, need to lie to me. If you just want to go out on your bike, just fucking say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and Mad. I just, like, kisses her and then throws her into the bed. Yep. Uh, or the futon. Uh, the futon. But then he kind of leaves her, well, I don't know. He leaves her feeding the baby but, the next morning. Yeah, but she looks like she's... Not with it actually. Now I think about it more. Yeah, it's 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 that's a good question. I didn't know whether she was unconscious or like, like Just... from something that's not being asleep yeah. or not. That's not particularly clear. Yeah. So uh, maybe maybe something else involved there. Maybe. Uh, and then you got like a a granny and a kid. What's, yeah. that, what's that all about? I have no idea, man. It's like a juxtaposition of the badness of. Kato's younger brother's life. Yeah. Or was that Kato? Maybe that was Kato. Maybe. I don't know. Never, it... never felt particularly clear to me, so. All I know is one point. Oh, shit. It's got... So Kato's like looking after the brother and telling him a good night story. 
And the, the, this is kind of mirroring the gran and the kid telling them the yeah. good night story about the oh the truck. Yes, the truck going to sleep. It's like oh the truck better like not fall asleep at the wheel type thing. Yep, and then flew away on the highway. I was like, that's Homer Simpson, man. <laughs> Who's that? Is it? Uh, it's, I think you. I think I know what you're going to say, but go, go for it. It's, but uh, Carl is telling his younger brother the uh, uh, the fist of the North Star story. You're already dead. <laughs> why, why, Maru? Yeah. <laughs> and then they just say it anyway because it goes, "Kay, you're already yeah, dead. You're already dead." <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy. I was looking at that and I was like, oh, that's the Fist of the North Star bit. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I was like, it piqued my interest immediately when he started going, ta 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 I was like, oh. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Uh, that's happened Good stuff, all, all before the awkwardness. Um, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much filled in everything that's happened in this one. Uh, we wake up in the morning. Um... And then Duke is just, I don't know, he looks kind of like, yeah, well, I didn't lose my virginity. Yep. Uh, but he looks like he might not be so much of a dish. Might, might have uh, manned off and realised that maybe his actions are not the right way to go. And maybe yeah. he's, he's coming out of that moody teenager and going, I'm going to be the guy I used to be. He's he's still terrible. I mean, maybe he'll make it up. There's twenty. Stop it! Stopping stopping yourself halfway through doing something terrible does not make you a good person. I'm not saying that it makes you it makes you a better than bad person. I'm not saying but... that. <laughs> no, no, no. What I'm no. saying is he's he wakes up in the morning. There's and he there's maybe a op- conscience there. Opens the opens the blind, and he's like, yeah, I didn't get it. Get you know, lose my virginity, but then he kind of had a look of like he's going to change his ways. Does he say? Did somebody say is like maybe that's not what this was about or something like that? Or I imagine that. Oh, uh, maybe. I don't know. But then you kind of cut to Nish, who's <laughs> sitting in a library, looking at like old school Windows Media Player. Oh yeah, with the skins, man, fucking those skins. Everything had to have skins back in the day. It's the good shit. Winamp. Winamp. Oh, was it, was it Winamp? No, I think it was Windows Media Player. No, but Winamp had loads of skins. Yeah, <laughs> they did. Um, uh, and then he was watching the news broadcast as well, actually, on that. He was, yeah. And then he's like, I wonder when the next time we're going to get called up. Uh, Presumably the next episode. Yeah, and I think everyone kind of looks at the breaking new dawn of a new day. Yeah. Because the female K wakes up a while because the sunlight is right in her eyes. Oh, fucking dick. Open the curtains into the eyes. Open the curtains while she was sleeping. Yeah, yeah. and not blocking the light hit to stop her hit, to stop the light hitting her eyes. No. Nah. <laughs> the worst, worst thing they could have done. Yeah. <laughs> Punishable by death. Anyway, yeah. Um, that's the end of the episode. That is the end of the episode. <laughs> How do you rate it, Colin? I want to give it an extra point for the Fist of the <laughs> North Star reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that is the only good point of that, that episode. It's real rough. So... Once again, it's exposition. It probably doesn't need to be. There's been a lot of other animes that's like put things out with, you know, like, oh, they did learn with the, the girls and, you know, mm-hmm. it was cool. It's all kind of mutual type thing. Though it got way over sexualized because, one, the phrasing of female key. Yep. And. The misconception of male K with the, the, the phrasing um, and his teenage libo- uh, horriness, uh, yep. libido. Um, he needs a teenage lobotomy. That's what he needs. Yep. It's added in a bit of mystery of like mm-hmm. extra characters and what they are. 
because the granny and the kid I have no idea probably the next contestants on the the Gantz show <laughs> oh uh, but yeah I, I stopped this one halfway through I was like the fuck am I watching Steve <laughs> what the hell don't blame you ah it's uh Maybe a three. Uh, I I I'll be more generous and give it a four. Like I think the the stuff with the the biker is good. The stuff with Kato is pretty good. I think the stuff with Kay and and Miss Melons is just a bit awkward. Like it just it's uncomfortable in a way that I I don't think it needs to be that level of uncomfortable. Yeah. I don't know where like, this, this show's going with all that. I mean, it's it's that's that's where it's going. It's it's just. I mean, it's, no, I just mean more like, why, why is it? Why are they got to be so kind of awful? Because uh, Cat Cat's essentially an abusive family. Mm-hmm. K male K seems to be. Probably also an abusive family of some sort. From yeah, from the, oh, because he phones his mum at some point and she's like, "Do you want money or something?" Yeah, and he's like, N- "No, thanks, bye." Yeah, and there's other things where you know he was sitting at a dinner table, and it, it kind of like grayed everyone out, and it was he, him just on a spotlight. Yeah. Um. K. Oh, that's something we should mention. Female K or Miss mm-hmm. Melons is a. Uh, she actually then breaks down and says, "You know what? I was quite active in my younger days, getting cuts here and there and everywhere." Yeah, jeez. And I had one that had like eight. It required eight stitches. The scar was still there, but it's not there anymore. It's gone. So, that that kind of like, I I it's it's so weird because like. I don't object to the nudity. I don't object to the difficult topics. There's just a, an approach to this that just doesn't sit well with me. Uh, but like that bit where she's like talking about like her scars and her wrists and mm-hmm. like that's that's a really well written part of dialogue. Like it's really well considered. It's it's quite um, personal and like also like feels weirdly fetishized from her perspective as well, like, there's kind of a bit of weird sexiness to that for some reason, and there shouldn't be. So it's like, there's weird tabooness to everything in this show. Yeah, well, I don't know if she just always self hard herself for some reason. Oh, t- totally. Like, I I think that's exactly it. But I, I think it's it's just uh, the portrayal and the way it's it's put forward is, is, is it's provocative and it's interesting, and I think that's you know that that's a point where Gantz, I think, does something really, really well. Like, I think these uh, pushing forward like awkward conversations and awkward dialogue in these ways is is tough. And I think like even in school days, where like there was lots of dialogue, like really just you know shitty teenage language and and weird viewpoints about you know uh, what sex means to teenagers and things like that, and and relationships and. Mm-hmm. It was uncomfortable, and I, but I felt it was like handled relatively well. It didn't always feel like it had to be the lowest common denominator. It's like, oh, it's pant shots and boobs. It's basically like what we're what we're going down to here. Um, and it's like, yeah, it's it's tough. Like, because I I don't think Gantz is bad. I really really like this show. I think it's a great show. But I do think that these two episodes exhibit a lot of what I think doesn't work for me. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, I don't know and how it, it all fits in. Like I say, Kate's relationship with her family seems female Kate. Mm-hmm. Probably seems alright. You don't have too much backstory on it. I the way I read that is all she has sheltering parents who have been unable to find what is making her unhappy. Um, her sister is unaware of 
the circumstances as evidenced by that phone call which is that your your sister's like fallen yeah in the bath it's like yeah we're not going to tell you what's happened yeah uh but but you need to know something so that, so that this makes sense oh i mean I'm part, not saying that's an easy topic to broach, but I, I guess they like they clean you know, out the bathroom because she returned to the bathroom, still yeah. filled with blood. With uh, amazing, I was like, "Oh yeah, she better get to the hospital." Oh, should we drain that bath? No, let's keep that blood there so the younger sister can find it. Wild. Yeah, well, I mean, that's not the worst thing in Gantz. No, it's not, uh, and it won't be the worst thing we see. And on that note. Uh, we will be back next week to talk about more episodes of Gantz. You've been listening to Who's That Anime, an anime podcast all about anime, which can be found where all good podcasts can be found. Uh, our home is at anchor.fm forward slash Who's That Anime. Uh, if you like what we do, leaving a review is a really cool way to support us. Um, if you've already left a review or can't leave a review um, because your podcasting software doesn't allow, then telling a friend about what we do because you enjoy it is also a really cool way to spread the spread the love um if you want to support us in some sort of financial sense you can at patreon.com forward slash who's that anime where you can get benefits like early episode releases including access to early episodes of our other podcast five minute fusions a journey through dragon ball um we have a Facebook page, that's facebook.com forward slash use that anime, where we post the latest episode releases, occasional anime meme. We have a Discord group, you can find the link for that in the show notes. We have a YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash at who's that anime, where Colin painstakingly puts together the video versions of these episodes. You can also find the RSS feeds for both Who's That Anime podcast and 5 Minute Fusion at YouTube, which is pretty cool if you like to listen to your podcast through YouTube. Colin and I sometimes like to play some video games. Uh, Colin at twitch.tv forward slash couchfuel and myself at twitch.tv forward slash hailpayman. And you can find archives of everything we've ever done on those channels on youtube.com by searching for at couchfuel or at hailpayman. Mm. And that's us. Yeah. I'm going to go and uh, wash my mouth out with lots of lots of alcohol. I don't I'm, just, I'm just gonna go and like cry in a corner for a little bit. I don't need to um, see that stuff. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you; it's gonna get worse. No, no, it's not gonna get worse. It's gonna, get, gonna get a lot worse. Oh man, you finally found the enemy to break me. I mean, I was already broken, so I'm just, I'm just returning the favor, I guess. Oh, what did I break here? Uh, I don't know. I think Kino might have been the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kino's good. I like Kino. And it's, no, Kino is good. But wow. <laughs> it's not that bad. I don't know. There's just no positivity to it, man. I can't take anything from it. <laughs> and there's positivity in Gantz? No. But there's cool alien fights. <laughs> there's, cool alien fights. <laughs> there's cool fights in Kino, too. There are. The alien fights do get really, really good in this, by the way, though. Like, I mean, some of the some really excellent, like, animated combat and uh, some cool storylines and some interesting narrative twists and stuff. I think it's, it's, I think you'll like where we go, but it does, doesn't get better in that regard. It kind of just ah keeps going, keeps doing its thing. That's why these episodes animation, but it wasn't that high. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they, they've got some, they've got some things to animate. <laughs> they've got some soon. Got some uh, things that are better. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh well, I suppose. Um, all right, I, uh, I suppose we better end it here and just go. Yep. See you next time. Time, same eye place, same. Anime. Yeah, it's gonna be Gantz. It's gonna be Gantz. Oh god, damn it! It's gonna be Gantz. More Gantz. Ah, uh, so so happy. I find more enjoyment out of the Kino. I don't mind massive genocides and stuff. But it seems I don't like seeing uh, girls getting groped. Yeah, it's not a it's not a great scene. Yeah, not a great scene. Too much sexual tension uh, in this. 
It's it's not even tension. It's just just awful. Yeah. Okay. Too much sexualization. It's not. I don't really like that in anime. Not my favorite part. No. Too common these days. Yes. There we go. See you later, guys. Bye, folks. Bye. <laughs>